Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. By the end of this video, you should be able to name aromatic compounds. Now, naming aromatic compounds simply involves following a set of rules that you need to learn. There are a very small number of exceptions to these rules, again, which you need to learn. However, I should point out that sometimes the same compound can have more than one acceptable name. Examiners know this, so they tend to choose relatively straightforward compounds for naming and they often accept several correct answers. We've already seen that benzene consists of a ring of six carbon atoms, and each carbon atom is also bonded to one hydrogen atom. I'll be using the symbol on the left to represent benzene in this video. We're going to start with monosubstituted benzene molecules, in other words, containing only one substituent group. In this case, we use a prefix before the word benzene. If the substituent is an alkyl group, then we use the same prefixes that we've already seen in organic chemistry. For example, methylbenzene and ethylbenzene. Notice that when we have one substituent, the benzene ring has one fewer hydrogen atoms than before. Also, we do not give a number for one substituent, as it's automatically carbon-1. Here are three more monosubstituted benzene compounds in this case containing halogen atoms. Here's nitrobenzene, in which the substituent is a nitro group. Now, if benzene is bonded to an alkyl chain with a functional group, then we now consider the benzene molecule to be a substituent of the alkyl chain. That's because the functional group on the alkyl chain will determine the reactions of the molecule. In this case, the benzene ring is given the prefix phenyl, for example, phenylethanone. Now, benzaldehyde and benzoic acid are two exceptions to this naming rule. These have non-systematic names that you have to learn. Also, if benzene is bonded to an alkyl chain with seven or more carbon atoms, then again the benzene is considered to be a substituent. For example, 1-phenyldecane. That's because in these cases, the alkyl chain has more carbon atoms than the benzene. Now, phenol and phenylamine are two other examples of benzene-based molecules with names that you need to learn. We'll be looking at both of these in later videos. Okay, now if a benzene ring has multiple substituents, then we use the smallest possible numbers to show their positions. These two diagrams show the same molecule. 1,2-dichlorobenzene is the correct name, as the numbers are smaller than 1,6-dichlorobenzene. If the substituents are different, then we list them alphabetically, again using the smallest possible numbers. I'd like you to pause the video now and name this molecule. OK, we have a bromine substituent and a fluorine substituent. Alphabetically, bromo is before fluoro. Position 1 is assigned to the group which is first alphabetically, so in this molecule, we're going to assign the bromine atom to carbon 1. That means that the name of this molecule is 1-bromo-2-fluorobenzene. Notice that this does not depend on how we draw the molecule. Both of these diagrams show the same molecule. Here's another one for you, so pause the video and try this molecule. OK, the substituents are a chlorine atom and a methyl group. Alphabetically, chloro is before methyl, so the chlorine is given position 1. That means that the name of this molecule is 1-chloro-2-methylbenzene. OK, now a key point to remember is that we always aim for the lowest possible numbers. I'd like to pause the video now and name this molecule. OK, alphabetically, fluorine is before methyl, so we should assign fluorine to position 1. This would give the name 1-fluoro-3,4-dimethylbenzene. In this case, the sum of the position numbers is 8. However, if we assign a methyl group to position 1 like this, then the sum of position numbers is now 7. So in this case, the correct name is 4-fluoro-1,2-dimethylbenzene. If we assign the fluorine to position 5, then the sum is again 8, and this is incorrect. So remember that substituents are listed alphabetically, with the lowest possible numbering. OK, now for benzaldehyde, benzoic acid and phenol, position 1 is automatically assigned to the existing functional group, and any other substituents are numbered based on that. 
And we can see that here with 2,4,6-trichloroflorophenol. OK, I just want to end on one final point. In this molecule, we have a chloromethyl substituent. For substituents like this, we put the prefix in brackets. This shows that the chlorine is on the methyl group and not the benzene ring. OK, so hopefully now you can name aromatic compounds.